New safety measures are in place at Florida schools after Governor Ron DeSantis signed off on a plan aimed at keeping students safe. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joining us live this morning. Ashley, this new law addresses several big issues. It does, Vic. This new law largely centers around training and mental health resources. Meanwhile, Democrats are pushing for more. They are now eyeing a special session on gun violence. Keeping kids and educators safe in the classroom is a priority for everyone. Yesterday, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a new bill into law which enhances procedures already in place. But House Bill 1421 also allows school resource officers to make arrests on charter school property, requires all school officers to complete crisis intervention and de-escalation training. It also requires school boards to adopt family reunification plans if there's an evacuation. School districts would also need to verify that at least 80% of personnel receive mandatory youth mental health awareness training each year. In a statement, DeSantis said every child needs a safe and secure learning environment. On the flip side, Democratic lawmakers want to take on gun violence and accessibility to firearms. I mean, if it was up to me, we'd be calling for an assault weapons ban. The three options they want to consider include expanding red flag laws, requiring universal background checks for all gun purchases, and the regulation of high capacity magazines, specifically for rifles. Representative Joe Geller says this issue expands beyond mass shootings. So this is about gun violence. This is about an epidemic of gun violence and things we can and should control. And Secretary of State Cord Bird said that lawmakers have until this Friday to respond to a poll about holding a special session. 60% of the House and Senate have to agree for a special session to be held. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.